Hey guys, welcome back to another Sunday haul. And if you haven't seen these haul videos before on my channel, if you're new, these are different than regular haul videos because I actually turn the camera around and focus on the products themselves and do tons of swatches and close-ups. And at the end of the video, I normally do reviews on the products that I tried throughout the week. In today's video, I actually had such a crazy week this week that I didn't get to try out anything, but I thought it would be fun to actually do like a try on and a get ready with me using some of the new products at the end. So you'll see me kind of trying them out in real time versus just giving reviews. So if that's something that you're interested in seeing going forward, let me know. Or if you prefer just the mini reviews, I can always do that as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We'll go back in time to Monday and I'll show you what I got this week. Good morning guys, happy Monday. So I just got back from dropping my son off at school and I stopped over at CVS really quick and I saw this new Profusion palette and it looked really, really pretty. I know I recently did a video on other Profusion holiday palettes and sets, but those are from Walgreens and Walmart. So it looks like CVS has completely different things. So let's go ahead and take this upstairs and we'll do some swatches and check it out a little closer. All right, so this is the Winter Ballroom Palette. It has 35 shades for $14.99. The packaging is a little cheapo. It kind of has like this plastic window, but it does have a magnetic closure that I feel like is pretty solid. So uh, inside you have all of the different shades and I wanted to just do a couple of quick live swatches of some of the shimmer shades because Profusion's really been kind of changing up their shimmer shades lately and sort of including regular shimmers, toppers, even some that are creams. So I wanted to get a feel for for what is in here and it looks like there might even be a few glitters this one and this one might actually be glitters oh this one actually kind of feels like a cream I don't know hmm that's interesting this one feels a little more scratchy like a glitter so we have that first one okay it actually is a glitter the creaminess I was feeling was just kind of like the I guess base that it's in but this one feels a little more scratchy they do still make quite an impact though, and the glitters are very fine. They're not big, chunky glitters, so those both come out really beautiful. And this one has gold and green and red, like all within it. It's very multidimensional, and this one has purple and blue and maybe pink. All right, so let me see what about this one. This one feels like a regular shimmer shade. What about this one? Is this a glitter as well? This feels like a glitter. I think sometimes with holiday collections, you can't get away from glitter because they all sort of have that party vibe, like holidays and New Year's and all of that. So yeah, you have one regular shimmer and then this one's back to glitter. Let's just swatch a couple more. So we have this one. It feels like regular shimmer shade and this one too. Let's put those here and here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch out the whole palette, so I will be right back. Okay, so here are the first 17 shades, and there are a few that really stood out to me as being super beautiful. This one right here is just more of a unique color. I really like that one a lot. I also love this one. This color is stunning, and this green next to it also. It is almost like a sagey green. It has a little bit of blue in it. It's just more unique for my collection. And overall, I felt like the shimmer shades were sort of lacking compared to Profusion's normal formula. I felt like I had to build them up a little bit. It's not really a big deal, but I'll have to see how this actually applies to the eyes because sometimes it's hard to tell with swatches, but I just at least want to give you guys a look at the colors. So I'll go ahead and swatch the other 18 shades and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have the other 18 shades in the palette and there are quite a few standouts on this side for me. The first one is this deep kind of blue gray. It's an interesting color. I love gray eyeshadow, but it can be a little bit boring and this one is just blue enough to make it a little bit different than your average gray, which I really like. This white also gives kind of a wet look to your eyes, but it's not a topper. It's actually a really kind of more pigmented shadow. I love this blue gray as well. And this one, these two are really, really stunning. And I think they'd make great lid shades. And also this purpley one down here is really, really stunning. So I'm going to put together a little split screen and show you guys what all the colors look like all together. I just couldn't fit them all on one arm, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this palette down below what you think of it. What's up guys, it's Tuesday. I just got a box from ColourPop and they sent over their new holiday collection, which is Gotta Love Show Business from the Muppets. So um, inside, it looks like there is a palette, glowing lip, super shock shadows, and a glitterly obsessed glitter gel. So there's everything right there. I'm going to bring this upstairs under my ring light and we'll swatch everything and take a closer look. 
All right, so let's go ahead and dig into this collection and do some swatches. And we'll start with the palette. I always love starting with the palette. I feel like it's the most exciting part for me. So uh, this is the Holidays, Holidays, Holidays palette. It's 16 shades. And then here's the outer packaging. This is really cute. I feel like ColourPop always does a good job with their packaging, whether you like the theme or not. I feel like they put a lot of effort into it. All of this stuff is kind of raised up and it just elevates it a little bit. Um, so then we have the inside, which is pretty colorful for the most part, a little more color than I usually wear but it's kind of organized in rows so you have this kind of peachy row here then you have the blue and the copper then the greens then the pinks I see a duochrome here and here which is awesome I figured we could just live swatch a couple shades first and then I'll show you the whole palette swatched out I'm really interested in these duochromes so I want to start with these this one's called icy patch and this one's called celebrate moi I'm guessing that's for Miss Piggy so, ooh, that's like a really dimensional shimmer. Multi-dimensional, I meant to say. And that shade, wow, it's a pink, but it shifts to like a teal or a turquoise. I hope it's picking up on camera the way that it looks in person. That is such a unique color. That's beautiful. All right, let's see what else we can swatch here. Um, I want to try this one. And I want to see what this blue looks like too, because this is also stunning. It's kind of like a purpley blue. All right, so there's that green. It almost gives the effect of a glitter without being an actual glitter with the glitter pieces falling everywhere. So I love that. And look at this color. Oh my gosh. You know how sometimes you look at a palette and you think, I'm not really gonna like this, this isn't my thing. But then you just start swatching it and it's like, it completely changes your mind. I think like if I hadn't received this in PR, I wouldn't have purchased this palette for myself. But I'm really liking the looks of some of these shades. Also just like this pink, how pretty is this? I think it would pair really really nicely with this shade or this one or even this one honestly and even this shade too looks super pretty so let's just swatch these and then I'll just go ahead and do the whole palette so yeah see like this pretty soft pink you could easily pair that under this one if you wanted to use this in your crease this on the lid it would also look really nice with that one and then even this one Super beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this whole palette out. We'll see how all the colors look together. All right, guys, so here it is. And honestly, this is a beautiful palette. I mean, I judged it pretty hard when I first saw it, but as I was swatching each color, I'm like, this is so pretty, this is so pretty. Like I was just getting more and more excited about it. And in some ways it's very colorful. And in others, it's also got a lot of neutrals. You have from here all the way to here, that's very neutral. I would even call this soft pink a neutral shade. Then you have these right here this brown at the end, and just some really standout beautiful colors to work with, like this one, like Celebrate Moi, and then uh, this one right here, the other duochrome. So what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your initial impression of this palette and whether or not it changed when you saw the swatches or if you still feel the same way about it. So let me know down in the comments. Next, let's check out the Super Shock Shadow. So we have one for Fozzie Bear, one for Miss Piggy, one for Kermit, and one for Animal, which actually, now that I think about it, that's how the palette was laid out too. I wasn't really even thinking about it, but we have Animal, we have Fozzie, we have Kermit's row, and then Miss Piggy. So it's kind of laid out in that way as well. So Fozzie's shade is called Waka Waka, of course. And then here's what that one looks like. Ooh, that is super pretty. Love that one. Next up we have Kermit's shade and this one is called Yay. <laughs> that one is stunning as well. These are really pigmented. Next we have Miss Piggy and her shade is called Holiday Hostess. And this one is a really pale pink, super beautiful as well. And then Animal's shade is called Beat Drums. It's like a bright kind of orangey red. And here's what that one looks like. So those are the Super Shock Shadows. And then moving on, we have the Glitterly Obsessed Gel, and this is called It's Moi. So here's what it looks like inside. And basically these you can use on your body, on your face, it's just like a glitter gel basically. So I'll just show you guys what that looks like here. And they're very soft. You normally think of glitters as being kind of scratchy, but these come in this really kind of cushiony gel. So there's what that one looks like. And then last in the collection are the Glowing Lip and they swapped out Kermit for these two little guys. I forget their names, but I'm guessing they probably just didn't want to make a green lip color. So let's check these out a little closer. So first up we have the Fozzie shade. This one's called Warm Up Guy. And if you haven't tried the Glowing Lip, these are just kind of like a tinted lip balm. They're really beautiful. 
and I'm going to put them on my hand because my arm <laughs> is stained from those super shock shadows. I tried to get it off with micellar water. I'm going to have to use something a little bit stronger, um, but I just didn't want it to interfere with the swatch. So these are just really pretty. They give kind of a glossy appearance. The next one is called Picture of Joy, and this one is Beaker. That was his name. So looks like kind of a peachy coral. And these are sheer on the first pass, but you can easily build them up to show more color. And then next up we have Animal Shade. This one is called Chill, Chill, Chill. It looks like a bright red, so let's see how much pigment this has. All right, so like in the first pass, it's kind of like more of a sheer red, but I bet you could build it up to be a little bit darker if you wanted. And then Miss Piggy Shade is Kissy Kissy, and this one is a really pretty cool tone pink and I always love to have a cool tone pink in my collection because I feel like most of my lip colors pull kind of warm and when I do a cool tone look on my eyes I'm always looking for more colors like this and I don't have a lot of them at home so I'm glad to have this option. So anyway guys what do you think of this collection? I have to admit I'm a little bit pleasantly surprised by it. I wasn't expecting to like it especially when it comes to the palette um, and I'm excited about the glowing lips because I love this formula and while I don't see myself wearing the Animal or Kermit Super Shocks that often. These two shades are really pretty, really wearable for every day. So anyway, love to hear your thoughts down below. Hey guys, it's Wednesday afternoon. I just got back from Walgreens and I picked up a couple of things. The first one is the Soap and Glory Hand Food. So I've tried just about every hand cream that's out there for my really super dry hands. And I keep going back to this one just because it makes my hands look the best. It really just adds a softness and kind of fills in like the wrinkliness a little bit. My family always jokes that my hands look like 25 years older than my actual age because I'm a chronic hand washer and they're just always super dry in the winter time and they end up cracking and bleeding. And this is one of my favorite hand creams. So I got a new tube of this. And also you guys are gonna be a little surprised because I kind of swore off Makeup Revolution for a long time, but I got two palettes from them that just looked so pretty. And I wanted to, I guess, give their formula another chance chance because it's been a couple of years since I've tried something from them now so I'm hoping maybe they've improved a little. Um, these are kind of like Zodiac palettes I guess so I got Air which to me looks very much like the Sigma Ivy palette so I'm sort of wondering if this is a dupe for that and also Water because I am a Scorpio water sign and this one just looked really interesting and pretty as well. And then um, they also have these little lip kits that go along with it. So they come with a gloss on one side, which look, this color just looked really pretty, and then a pencil. And I was so happy to see that they included a gloss versus a liquid lipstick because I'm not really a fan of liquid lipsticks and usually that's what lip kits have in them. So I figured we could go upstairs, check all of this out a little bit closer, and I'm hoping for the best with these. I hope they're good. Okay, so first up, I just want to put on the hand cream and show you guys what it's like. I'm just going to put it on this hand because I feel like I always put stuff on the other one. So my hands aren't doing too badly at the moment, but they still look a little bit dry and kind of wrinkly. So it's thick, but it's not greasy. So when you go to touch things, you're not going to leave like greasy fingerprints everywhere. And I just feel like it makes such a big difference. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but my hands just look a lot softer when I use this. And I feel like it makes a bigger difference than most hand creams that I try. So I definitely love this stuff. I'm just going to put some on this hand now. Okay, so now let's check out the Makeup Revolution palette. So this is the Air one that I said looked kind of like the Sigma Ivy palette. And I have that right here so we can do a little quick comparison. But here's the outer packaging. I think they did a really nice job on this. It looks really cute. And then here are the colors inside. I really like this color story a lot. I love the cooler tones. And compared to, let's see, the Ivy palette, both are nine pans, but the Makeup Revolution actually has more gray in it, while the Sigma one has more browns. And instead of this green up here, the Makeup Revolution one has a black, which the Sigma one doesn't. So for some of you, that might be a good thing. For others, it might not be. I don't tend to use black eyeshadow as eyeshadow. I usually use it with like a stiff liner brush and just use it to kind of draw out my eyeliner first, and then I'll go over it with a liquid liner, but using a black shadow first really helps. So anyway, let's swatch a couple shades live because I'm really curious to see if Makeup Revolution has improved their formula at all. All right, so this one is kind of like a topper. And then this green, I mean, that's really smooth. 
I don't feel like it's the most vibrant or metallic shadow in the world, but some of you guys may actually prefer a shadow like this that's just really smooth and not glittery. Let's try a couple of mattes. We have this green here and then the gray. All right, so not super pigmented, but still like very smooth. There's zero fallout to these shades at all, but I don't know if they're the most pigmented. So anyway, I'm gonna swatch out the entire palette and we'll see what that looks like. All right, so here's what it looks like. Not the most impactful, to be honest. I mean, it's okay. Most of the shades were not problematic, but there were a couple that kind of were, like this light gray barely showed up. This is like four or five different layers just to get it to that point. This one, same thing. This light kind of grayish color is actually this one in the pan. And if I try to like pick up as much as I can, like I'm going back and forth a lot, then I go to try to add to it. Like it just doesn't, like it falls flat. It's really just not that great. So if I had to recommend one of these, definitely the Sigma one is a lot better, a lot more impactful on your eyes. But yeah, this one was just okay. I don't really have high hopes for the other one, but I'll show it to you guys anyway. All right, so this one is water. And I just thought this one looked pretty. It has some purples in it and also kind of a little more on the cool tone side. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one and I'll be right back. Okay, so this one fared a little bit better. I didn't really have any trouble with any of the shades in this one. I felt like a lot of them swatched really nicely, particularly these shimmer shades, these four right here. And then also the one on the end. I felt like they were easy to pick up. There's no toppers or anything. So, so these were just kind of like one swipe and they were good. The purple matte is a little bit patchy. As you can see, I tried to build it up, but it still ended up being a little patchy. The blue definitely was a lot better. And even this cream color swatched pretty nicely too. So this one wasn't a total dud, but still swatching these palettes has kind of reminded me why I'm not the biggest fan of Makeup Revolution. I just feel like there are so many better eyeshadows at the drugstore, whether it's ColourPop or Essence. It doesn't seem like they've really changed much since the last time I tried them. But let's check out this lip kit very quickly. This is the Air one, and the colors, for, at least from the packaging, look like they're gonna be sort of cooler toned, dustier colors. Whoa, that one just kind of went flying. Yeah, so here's the gloss. It's not focusing on it for some reason. I think it's just because it's like really shiny. And then there's also a lip liner that has some plastic on it, so I have to take that off. And I don't know, are these a twist up? Let me see. No, I guess it's like the kind that you have to sharpen, um, but the color looks really nice. So let me just put a little here. It feels a little bit waxy, to be honest with you. Um, it's kind of, there's like some drag to it and little bits of it are sort of coming off. Let's see. Yeah, it feels a little bit on the drier side. It's not quite as creamy as I would hope. Let's see the lip gloss. Okay, so this is actually very pretty. I like the color, but it doesn't seem quite as cool toned as it looked in the tube. It almost looks a little bit peachy. So that's a bit of a disappointment. It does have a coconut scent to it, which I like. But overall, guys, I'm a little, to be honest with you, disappointed in my Makeup Revolution haul. It's just reminded me while occasionally I do find some things that I really like, like their cream bronzer, for example, more often than not, I'm not super impressed with everything. So I guess I kind of learned a little bit of a lesson with this, but I am really excited to have my hand food back. I need to find the little mini size. They didn't have it at the store, but I used to keep one of those in my purse. So if I go to another Walgreens, I'll see if I can find that. But yeah, this stuff is just the best. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. Hey everyone, it's Thursday and I just got two boxes in the mail, one from BK Beauty, one from ColourPop. So this is actually the second box from ColourPop this week. And BK Beauty actually has brand new brushes out, which I'm so excited about because you guys know I love their brushes. I just literally filmed yesterday a video about some of the new Black Friday sales that are happening and BK Beauty was one of them and I went through some of my favorite brushes. So if you missed that, definitely check that one out because they're having a really good Black Friday sale. Sale. but this is their core line extensions they have new face brushes and new eye brushes so excited so we're going to take a closer look at those also ColourPop it says love a good encore and they recently had come out with those hair dyes and I think this is like supposed to be makeup that goes along with those hair colors so they have palettes cream gel liners and the BFF mascara in the colors for the hair so I'll just quickly show you what that looks like in here they're the little mini four pan palettes, which I happen to really love. I think the formula of these is great. So again, we're gonna be doing tons of swatches of all of these. So let's head upstairs and check everything out a little closer.
So I thought we could go ahead and look at the BK Beauty brushes first and then we'll move on to ColourPop. So it looks like there are five new face brushes and then four new eyeshadow brushes in the Core Line extension. First up we have the 209 Mini Shader Brush and this is so small it looks like it's going to be perfect for like applying shadow to the outer corner or any type of detail work. We also have the 210 Mini Pencil Brush so this is great for like smudging liner or even putting shadow into the inner corner of your eye. I like to sometimes put a little highlight there and this is the perfect size and shape for that. Next up is the 211 Detailed Blender. So this is like a really small blending brush and this is perfect if you have hooded eyes. It actually reminds me a lot of the one from their Angie Hot and Flashy line. This is the A502. So I feel like these look pretty similar. It might be just even slightly smaller than the Angie one. And then number 212 is a medium blender brush. So this looks like it might be a little bit smaller. I'll just for reference show you the 201 brush. This is the one that I normally use to blend stuff out and it's amazing. It's so fluffy and just disperses product really well. So in comparison, this one is just a little bit smaller. I think these four new brushes are just great for those of us with hooded eyes or if you do a lot of more detail work and you don't want the shadow to go everywhere. These are just some really great precision brushes. So moving on to the face brushes, number 109 is the mini contoured foundation. So this is the same shape as their larger foundation brush, which is one of my absolute favorites. I love the shape of this. So this one is just a little bit smaller. It'll again, give you more precision, or it could be like a travel option as well, since it is quite a bit smaller. And then brush 110 is actually a large concealer brush. So this is really interesting. And I've seen a few videos lately about applying concealer with a fluffier brush. It just helps to give a more natural result and I feel like this is going to be an awesome brush for that so I'm really excited to try this one out. Brush 111 is a dense bronzer brush so this one again I think it'll just give you a little bit more precision. It has like a more narrow shape to it than the other bronzer brushes which are more like this so I think if you want to use your bronzer to sculpt and kind of get under your cheekbones or along your jawline this would be a great brush for that. Brush 112 is a small angled face brush so again I think for contour contour or for really precise blush placement. I think this one would be great for that. And then 113 is a small flat powder brush. So this is great for applying powder underneath your eyes or just in areas where you really want to pat powder on rather than blend it with a large fluffy brush. So Overall, I am really excited about these new brush options. I think a lot of them are going to allow you more precision and just to create a lot more detail. So I'm really excited to try these. All right, so moving on to ColourPop, we have six of the little four pan palettes. Then we also have six shades of the BFF Volumizing Mascara and the Cream Gel Liner. So I guess let's start with the palettes first. I'm really excited to see what these all look like. So again, these are in the same colors as their hair dyes that they launched recently. So the first First one is Tidal Wave, and this has really pretty turquoise shades. Look at that, that's gorgeous. And then here's Tidal Wave swatched out. These are so creamy, and I just feel like for some reason these little quads are almost like a better formula than their bigger palettes, I don't know why. And then next up we have Violet It Be. I love this one. This shimmer shade in particular is so stunning. Look at how gorgeous that is. Next up we have Berry Jam, and this one has really pretty rosy tones. Next up is Peaches and Dreams. And this one's a little bit closer to neutral than some of the other ones, which are a little brighter. And then we have Chestnuts About You. And this one has really rich, warm neutrals, really perfect for fall. And then the last palette is Nickel and Dimed. And this one has your cooler toned silver and gray. So anyway, those are the little palettes. Now let's check out the cream gel eyeliners. This is one of my favorite formulas of eyeliner because they're so creamy and super, super long lasting on your eyes. So first up we have the shade Kicker. Oh man, look at how metallic that is. And did you see like how creamy that was? I didn't even have to press at all. And then this one is Shady Lane. So these coordinate with all of those little palettes, which is so cool. And then we have the shade Mare. Like, do you guys see this? It's like one swipe, amazing. And then this one is Surf Thing. And then the next shade is Fruit Fantasy. Like, I just can't get over these. They're so pigmented in one swipe. And then the last one is Spring Break. This is a beautiful lilac color. 
So these are gorgeous. They definitely, like I said, they coordinate with the palettes, but I think even just on their own, these just make such a statement. So these are really cool. And then we have the mascaras. So I actually don't want to open all of these because once you open a mascara, the clock starts ticking on it. And I just don't want these to all go to waste because you can only use them for three months or so. So I'll just go ahead and show you one of them. But, you know, they're going to be the same colors as these liners or also the palettes. So show you quickly and this is a really good volumizing formula it kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Too Faced better than sex mascara it has a similar brush and it's kind of like a thicker wet formula but I think these are going to look really cool on your lashes too so anyway guys what do you think of this collection it's all very colorful for the most part I don't know if you guys are into color or if you prefer neutrals but I'd love to hear your thoughts down below all right guys, so today it's Saturday and I thought I would just try on some of these products that I showed this week since I really did not get a chance to try anything at all. Um, and first I'm gonna just prime my face. This is something that I showed actually several weeks ago now. It's the Bliss Everdo Skin Enhancing Glowy Serum. So this is supposed to, I think, kind of be like the Glossier Future Do, like a dupe for that. It comes out of the tube kind of like a pink color and it's just supposed to be kind of like skincare and primer in one and just give your face a little bit of a glow. It has a nice texture. It's kind of a little bit thicker. It's cushiony feeling and I love the glow that it gives because it's not glittery. Like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter has a little bit of glitter and sparkle in it and this really doesn't. It just makes your skin look glowy because it's super hydrated. So I like putting it under foundation because it has kind of like a grippiness to it and also that little bit of shine comes through. So next for foundation, I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty Complexion Crush Medium Coverage Foundation since I didn't show any foundations in this week's video and this is in the shade Light Cool. I want to try out the new BK Beauty foundation brush, this littler one, and see kind of how it compares to the big one. So I'm just gonna dot this on. So one thing that I was a little concerned about with this brush is just that it's not going to be as quick as the bigger one because I feel like the bigger one covers a lot more area. But I do like how this one is smaller and it helps me get like right up around my nose and around my mouth. It just seems a little bit more precise and it's so soft. It's blending everything really nicely. And if you haven't tried this foundation yet, it's awesome. I have very dry skin. I'm 45 and it gives just the right amount of coverage. I would say it's like a medium coverage foundation with a satin finish. So it really just looks like your skin when all is said and done. It doesn't settle into lines and it doesn't look cakey. And you don't need a lot. I just squirted out a dot of this and there's still quite a bit left on my hand and I've already covered my whole face. So I'm just gonna blend some of the extra down my neck because this color is just slightly too dark for me, but I like that it's a cooler tone color. It has a little bit of a pink undertone, so that's why I chose it, but it is a little tiny bit dark. The shine that you're seeing on my face is from the Bliss Serum. It's not from the foundation. This one really doesn't look that glowy on its own, but I really like this brush a lot. I feel like that was still very quick and easy, but it was a little bit more precise than using that big chunky one, so I kind of really like this brush a lot. Next for eyes, I definitely want to try out the Muppets palette, and I'll use some of the new BK Beauty brushes as well. So first I'm just gonna prime my eyes with the Sigma Primer in the shade Ignite. This is on major sale right now. They're having a Black Friday sale and you can also use my code on top of that, Jen Phelps. So it's awesome that they're letting people do that this time. And I just love this primer so much. It's a stick, so it's really quick and easy. And also it kind of acts like a concealer and just hides all the discoloration on your eyelid. I feel like I have quite a bit and it just makes a really even canvas. It does come in other colors too. Like you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. It just hides pretty much everything. And it's not super sticky where eyeshadow can't blend on top of it, but it also does give a little bit of grip at the same time. So I think it's the perfect medium. Okay, so the first color I'm gonna start with is this light pink matte right here. And I'm gonna use the new BK Beauty 212 brush to start out. Oh wow, this color is actually really pigmented, wow. So anyway, my week this week was insane. And do you ever have a week where you're like trying to do something, trying to get things done and stuff just keeps coming up and it doesn't stop? That's how this week was for me. So Monday, my son had a regular day of school and then I got an email in the morning saying that his band practice was switched from Tuesday to Monday. So that was already something kind of unexpected. So we had to like go home after school 
and have a snack and then go right back out to band practice. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, he had half days of school this week because they were doing parent-teacher conferences. So I knew because he was gonna be home half the day, like I wasn't gonna have as much time to do everything that I wanted to do. But on Tuesday is when things started to get kind of crazy. So my son went to school as usual. And then when I got home from dropping him off, my husband had been kind of complaining over the last few days of like a pain in his like lower abdomen. And he's had kidney stones in the past. So we were kind of like worried it could be a kidney stone or it could be um, like a hernia because he had also had hernia surgery earlier in the year and he was worried like it might have failed or something. So he was in like quite a bit of pain and he wanted to go see the doctor, but he didn't want to drive himself. So he asked if I could drive him. So while my son was at school, I took him to the doctor and then she scheduled a CAT scan for later that day. So I picked up my son from school and brought him home and had lunch and my son had a doctor's appointment that afternoon because it was his annual physical that he goes to every year plus a flu shot. So I already had kind of figured that Tuesday afternoon was going to be shot because I had to take my son to the doctor. But then my husband had the CAT scan scheduled for right after that. So I took my son to his doctor's appointment, then took my husband to the CAT scan. By the time we were all done with that, it was dinner time basically and the day was done. Next, I'm going to use this shade right here. And I'm going to apply this with the smaller crease brush. This is the 211 brush. So that was Tuesday and thankfully the CAT scan came back fine and he just had like some sort of a pulled muscle or something. So at least that was good news. But then Wednesday was actually my birthday and I had scheduled my son's parent teacher conference for that day. So I got a few things done in the morning, but then I had to go pick him up at 1130 and then I brought him to my in-laws house because they were going to watch him while I went to his conference. So we had lunch with them and then I went to go see his teacher who had very nice things to say, by the way. So after that, I went back to their house to pick him up, but because it was my birthday, they were like, oh, let's have cake, let's like open presents. So we kind of stuck around there until like probably four o'clock. Then Thursday, he had another half day and I got some things done in the morning again, but by 11.30, I had to go pick him up and my parents wanted to see me for my birthday. So then they asked if we would meet them for lunch at the mall. So after school, we went over to the mall and we saw them for a while. And then Friday, my son had a regular day of school again so I was able to get quite a bit of stuff done as far as editing today's video but really I didn't get a chance to try any of the makeup this week because we were just running around and really I was just doing quick and easy makeup looks that took like two seconds because I didn't have time to really think about it. I'm just going to put a little bit of NYX glitter glue on my lid and I don't mean it to sound like I'm complaining at all because it was so nice to see everybody and celebrate my birthday. I realized that every week is not gonna be the same and I'm not gonna always have time to film as many videos as I want or to get all the things done around the house that I wanna get done. And I just have to be okay with that. I think this is a big balancing act and I've never wanted to be one of those people who sacrifices family time to do this. If I miss a video upload, I miss a video upload. It's not the end of the world. In fact, it's kind of the beauty of doing this because I can make my own schedule. But I think sometimes in the back of my head too I worry that YouTube's algorithm is going to punish my channel if I don't upload consistently and constantly so that's sort of one area of pressure that I kind of put on myself a little bit by the way I don't think I mentioned I'm using this shade up here celebrate moi it's like my favorite shade in the palette so I definitely wanted to try it out and it's so beautiful um, next I'm just going to use the Moira micro tip liner I love this eyeliner it's so super tiny it kind of reminds me of the Huda Beauty one but it's way less expensive and if you have more hooded eyes like I do and you don't want like a really thick stripe of liner this is just perfect all right so my eyeliner is totally uneven that happens to me all the time because this eye is a little more hooded than this one but I'm not going to focus on that let's go ahead and apply the thrive mascara this is my all-time favorite mascara it's a tubing formula so it doesn't smudge and it just makes my lashes huge like a false lash effect so love this stuff for a blush, I'm gonna use the NYX Wonder Stick in the shade Light Peach and Baby Pink, and I'm gonna use the Baby Pink side because I feel like it'll go really well with the eye look. It's a really cool toned color. And I'm gonna blend it with the BK Beauty number 112 brush. This is the angled cheek brush. 
But if you haven't tried these NYX Wonder Sticks, these are really great too. They are so pigmented, so you only need a little bit. And they're not a greasy cream blush, so they just kind of blend right in and dry to a powder finish. All right, and then for lips, I think I'm gonna use one of these glowing lips. I'll use the Miss Piggy one, which is called, what is this one called? Kissy Kissy. I think it's gonna be a perfect cooler tone pink. All right guys, so here's the final look. I'll show you guys a quick close up of everything and I really, I love this palette. I think it's beautiful. This lip color is really pretty too and I love the BK Beauty brushes that I tried. So if you're interested in those, they're gonna be on sale for Black Friday. Same with ColourPop. As of the 21st, their entire site is going 30% off, so it's a great deal to stock up on anything that you might have your eye on. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for spending time with me. And if you're curious about all the other Black Friday sales that are going on, I have two videos that I want to share with you right here and here. So don't forget to check those out because there are so many amazing deals. So thank you guys so much for spending part of your day here with me. I appreciate it so much, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.